Yo, welcome to Sony RDM Racetrack. I built this place because I have something new for you today. I'm starting a new series and it's not specifically about Rec Room. If you're here because of a game called Assetto Corsa Competizione, I'm inside this other video game that is played in virtual reality called Rec Room, where we get to build our own worlds and, you know, play with other people. It's a very social experience, but also very design oriented, very creative place. So anyway, I'm here inside Rec Room and I build this R&DM racetrack um, because I want to talk about not Rec Room, but Assetto Corsa Competizione. So this other game, ACC, people call it for short, is a racing simulator. So it's not like Gran Turismo or Forza or something like that where you can play with a controller. I mean, you can, you know, but in these other games, people, you know, like myself, we have like nice little steering wheel with little pedals and stuff. And we go around and, you know, people try to make it as realistic as possible. And ACC is one where basically you have a very limited, very specific kind of car, which are GT cars. We have GT3, which is the biggest one in the game. There's also now GT2 and GT4. GT2 are a bit faster, GT4 are a bit slower. But anyway, GT3, we're gonna concentrate on GT3, like this Porsche back here, this uh, GT3 car. And the, the good thing about, according to me, or that I like about ACC is that unlike other sim racing games um, because the f it is limited like i was talking about just now means that they can put so much more effort into making it even more realistic because you don't have to have you know super slow cars and then just some, some formula one speedy cars you know there's these ones and so all the tracks everything is just how they do in real life the sounds the way it bounces when it hits the curbs the way it feels all that stuff can be more focused, right? So I started to give this game a try, and that's when I discovered this thing called LFM, which is um, low field motorsport. Basically, they run this thing that is side to side with the game, where you basically can get online races with people that are kind of your same skill level and do all sort of competitions. There's championships, they have a pro season, there's like all these sort of cool things. But to get into it, besides owning the game, obviously, you need to get a license, right? And the way to get a license is every so often, every new season, they'll have this specific track. You join their server, you do a few laps without, you know, invalidating them. For somebody out there that doesn't know what that means in racing is going off tracks. So, you know, <laughs> crashing or going out the white lines on the side of the road or any anything that will invalidate your lap in the, in the race will basically, you have to start over again. So you do seven laps that are valid laps. And the other thing is that you have to be, I think it's 107% maximum of the average for the race track, I think. So that means that you have to, you, you cannot just go super slow and then be like, oh yeah, seven valid laps that's super easy if i go super slow no you have to have kind of like a, a hot lap or an average speed i think i don't know exactly uh, i'm fairly new to this so this is the series welcome to the series of me trying to figure out how to get into lfm um so the racetrack is a racetrack called paul ricard uh this time which is it's, it's, a, it's a tough one it's a tough one because it has like very long very uh slowish corners and then very fast straights um, it's very tricky, and so I've only been playing it for a couple days, but I wanted to make this video uh, before, so I can kind of keep track of my progress as I, you know, go through all these process and, and figure out and hopefully get better, hopefully get better. Give me tips if you guys see anything, uh, put it in the comments, just, you know, I, I would appreciate all the help you guys can give me from experiencing racers to anybody who's like me, who's just getting into the sim racing thing and want some tips from another newbie, uh, you know, just drop it down there and I'll be super happy to answer. 
or to listen to your advice. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to keep track of my progress and this is my first uh, video of me going around the track. So I had to choose a car first and I went with the Ferrari 296 GT3 because I love how it looks because I was advised um, uh, see it being a really rookie friendly car um, and one thing that I did here was, you know, focus on one car, learn that one car, learn how it behaves, learn how it goes around the corners, how your setup will change it, how it will affect it, how all these variables, you know, but one variable doesn't change the car. You keep um, changing from car to car to car to car to car. You're just making it harder on yourself because every time is going to be different. So you're going to have to learn from scratch again. But if you stick to one car, um, then you can, you know, really develop your skills in, you know, in a better, proper, faster manner, hopefully. So I'm using the Ferrari um, 296 GT3, lovely car. And I obviously practiced on this Polar Ricard for a couple of days, just for a couple hours. So, so not that long. I, I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to grab my fastest lap. Um, my average right now, I think, is 2.04, 2 minutes, 4 seconds. Two minutes, five seconds, something like that. I think I can do two or fours, two or fives, uh, pretty consistently uh, in valid laps. With you know, in, in practice, because if you do hot lap mode, um, talking about ACC, if you do hot lap mode, every time you do a lap, basically your tires renew. They're, they're back to fresh tires and all the stuff. You don't have to worry about fuel, all that thing. You know, you're just trying to do the fastest lap you can. But in practice mode, your tires start degrading, you know, the temperature changes, all the stuff kind of like it would in a real race. So you need to, you know, keep track of all of that. But when you do that uh, license test in the LFM server, you basically have to be on what would be the equivalent of practice mode because you need to do the seven laps. So I decided to do this on practice mode. After a few laps, I got a 202, which again, on, only after a couple hours of practice, is my fastest lap so far. From what I've heard uh, from someone else, they said they got an average of 158 and they got their license. And somebody uh, that has uh, on, posted online said that you needed 152, 153, something like that. So that, I mean, that's like 10 seconds faster than me. That, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. So hopefully uh, we can get the 158 and, you know, do that consistently. I, I don't know how many uh, videos about, you know, getting the license. Uh, it will take me to actually hopefully get the license at some point. I still can't even try because we can talk about that uh, in depth maybe later on the next video. But there's some safety ratings and, and this sort of other things that are already in ACC. And they require you to have a safety rating of 80. But I haven't played that many races. I've been just doing practice and hot laps a lot uh, just for fun. So my safety rating is still pretty low because I just unlocked it. Like literally like one day um, I have it locked. Um, so you need, I think, 80. If I need to play some more um, races against AI or online races inside the game that are not LFM to get that up. And then I can actually, you know, try to get my license. So hopefully by then, by the time I get my safety rating to 80, I will, you know, be more used to, to this Ferrari. I, I will be doing, you know, faster laps more consistently and valid laps all the time and all that stuff. So, but again, for today, um, after all this lengthy explanation, which if, if you love racing, do come back because this is going to be a wild ride, I assure you. Uh, this is all super exciting, uh, kind of complicated, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out with help of me, you know, searching for stuff online and, and hopefully you guys uh, letting me know what to do in the comments. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So I'll leave you now with my 202 lap around Paul Ricard in the Ferrari 296 GT3. We'll do the cockpit view so you can see the, the steering wheel and everything. And uh, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think about this new series. Um, we'll, we'll keep combining rec room and racing and this and that. And I don't know, this is going to be, uh, something new and different. And I hope you like it. Now let's go get that lap time. Yeah.